Hello there, watchy people. How is it going? Welcome back to the Rags to Riches series on Farming Simulator 22. How about that? Still the right way around this time. This time. Um, so we have been having trouble with this Fiat, um, and I believe uh, William has had some experimentation for us. He's got this tractor in a in a save of his own, and uh, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, he's been checking it out and seeing what the issue is. And it seems to be a gear selection issue. Um, and when it happens, there doesn't seem to be any resolution. Uh, so, based on the fact that this is um, faulty, we are going to return it. That is what's going to happen. So, we're going to go to the uh, vehicles owned. And we're going to get rid of this one. Now we paid 27,770 for it. And they're giving us back 20,800. So if we give ourselves uh, 6,800 back, that seems about right. So we'll sell that. Vehicle has gone. Um, then I said we would add in, what did I say, 6,800 roughly. That should be close. I'm not bothered about it exactly, but it should be close. So, we now could do with another tractor. Let's, for now, let's um, let's just use this, uh, this good old faithful John Deere that we've got, which seems to do the job. Um, however... Uh, I did install a new mod, which I believe is a medium tractor. And if we go to the mods, there we go. So it's another Fiat. Oh, that that original Fiat was in the um, small tractors category. That's interesting. Whereas this new one is in the medium. So this is actually quite because of its horsepower it's quite um yeah quite i guess it's top end of this category is it so this is 135 horsepower we had 185 so if we go back to this one over here this is going to be 180 horsepower yeah for 33 now you can put in a bigger oh that doesn't actually change anything just adds in what does that actually do literally nothing visual visual mod I guess you can have a front linkage on it though for an extra 1500 that's gonna cost 35,800 which we actually are close to having so in fact we do have should I say um, but for now let's worry about getting this um, corn bailed up uh, corn straw that's the word what am I on about corn my brain is frazzled we also have this um, this what do you call it here I don't even know what it's called silage there we go my brain my brain is not on today I just turned off the engine to the tractor which tells you exactly how uh, Go on. Are you unfold? No, go on, unfold. Exactly how switched off my brain is right now. Um, there, cool, right. Let's turn this on. And then we will pick up whatever is here to pick up. I don't is there actually anything I don't think there's anything on that field that just looks that way for some reason. Unless I'm wrong. I don't know why that's got. Um, I guess it's because our our harvester doesn't have the facility to chop. It can only um, it can only do um, swathing. Oh my life! This tractor is not happy with this on the back. We definitely need some more horsepower. I wonder what uh, what our options are. 
because they ain't going to be many and varied, I can tell you that much. Uh, oh, okay, I've just got the back stuck on there. Um, can I turn it off? Fold it up so I can get around the corner and then unfold it again. <laughs> there we go. Is this going to work? Oh my word, that was the messiest thing ever. That's uh, exactly where I am right now. <laughs> oh my word. Well, I'll tell you what, let's get this uh, bailed up in a good old fashioned hyperlapse and uh, then we'll go from there. Well, there we go, that is uh, the bailing done. In case you were wondering, the music I used there um, was Hey Guy Lo-Fi, which is a new channel um, created by 90 Books, uh, who is Scapegoat's housemate and often features in some of her videos. Um, she says she didn't write the music, she hasn't created the music, but um, she does own the copyright to it and uh, has said that we're allowed to use it. So there we go. Thank you very much to Books, really appreciate it. And uh, if you enjoyed it, go subscribe to that channel. It's Hey Guy Lo-Fi. Um, but yes, you will have noticed that I've got a new track. <laughs> yeah, I got to the end of that one and my goodness, it was so awful. Um, it was so awful going that slowly, so I just gave up. It was too much. Uh, I caved and I bought the new tractor, uh, so we're just going to park this one here and then, yes, we will go and get this one. We're not going to earn any money for this straw. I mean, we'll get a little bit. There's no point in us keeping it because we have no use for it right now. Um, but we are in August and what else do we need to do? Oh, oh man, that drive back with the tractor as well, that was um, pure professionalism, total, um, you know, absolute skilled driving. I could also do with the rear weight, where's the rear weight? It's over there. Um, yeah, absolute professionalism. Um, I just kept getting caught on things, I got caught on the wall and rolled the thing. And then when I turned the corner it got hooked on the curb somehow, I don't even, I don't know. Bad driving, it's just bad driving, that's all it is. Anyway. Um, let's get these two bales of straw. We'll sell them because, you know, what what the heck else we got to do? Um, and then we can we can get these fields um, re-sown, I guess? I don't know what else to do at the moment. We're, we're kind of waiting. We're in a waiting place. Um, so we may end up in a position where we're going to uh, skip some time very shortly. Uh, right, let's, come on. Let's see this properly. Heard the uh, greenhouse go in then. Right. We're going to take these to the sell point and see what we earn. That new Fiat does 27 miles an hour, so it's it's getting on to being like a whole 50% faster than this one. Um, and you can tell when you're driving it, it's good. I mean, 27 is not, obviously uber fast but for a tractor it's it's getting there so yes now I'm not expecting wonders for these because it's just two straw bales straw is not very expensive um, but we need to get to the point where we're earning some more money because we need to buy another field so that we can we can have stuff a to do to to keep the you know video flowing rather than just like 
doing little bits and pieces and then skipping the night. Did I just drive? No, I didn't drive past it. Man, I thought I drove past it then. It's there. It's been a little while since I played this, actually. Uh, I did two videos last time I recorded. And so these ones are... Uh, this one, rather. Is uh, in a new session. And it's been probably two weeks now since I've paid, I think. Anyway, I got 1700 for those two bells, so that's that's a hell of a lot better than I thought. I did not think we'd get that. Anyway, let's go back to the field and uh, see what's next on the job list. Okay, now one thing we do have is a few pallets that have been produced. Uh, so we can put them uh, onto the trailer. I'll be quiet. I've got a cat down here. Oh, that's my front weight. Got a cat down here screaming at me because um, he thinks it's his dinner time. He is right, but I'm not sure whether he's already been fed or not. So I just need to be careful. I need to check whether or not he's already been fed. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So stop meowing. Stop meowing, all right? Um, he probably hasn't, to be fair. Okay, let's get rid of that menu. I try and keep that off as much as possible because um, it's obviously a better experience for you guys to not be looking at that all the time. Uh, but we have a whole another crate of eggs here. Uh, so let's... Uh, okay, line it up a bit better to start with. That would definitely be a good thing to do. Uh, I don't think the cat has been fed because I think he's now kind of wandering, wandering around and threatening to stand on things and cause problems for me. He doesn't normally get that. Uh, come on! Doesn't normally get that pushy <laughs> when he's been fed. Hi. Dear, oh dear. Right. Let's uh, grab these things. I haven't actually... Well, I probably have checked on the chicken and that today. Because I probably did it in my last video. Oh, that was... That was annoying. Right, back we go. Try that again. Go on. Come on. Yep, there we go. There we are. Got it. My word. It's getting fiddly getting fiddly um, so apparently you're supposed to grab these crates end on I didn't know this this is something that um, Tango said in uh, one of our recent streams also in, in our streams I don't know if you guys have watched any of them at all but um, the extractor that we use for wrapping bales um, it's gone crazy on the multiplayer game. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Come on. Come on now. You go down there. There we go. Um, yeah, it went mad. It started um, flipping out and the, the bales are in it. Ra round bales I was using in that particular instance. They just get flipping around everywhere, like throwing themselves across the field. Um, I had to chase them down and figure out where they were so we could get them back after they fermented. Um, but it was really weird. Yeah, I've never had that before. So yes, very odd. Uh, right, let's try and get this right then. Oh. Lovely. That's nice. Very nice. And then one more to do. I'm going to leave the eggs there until it fills that... Oh, that crate. Man, depth perception is so hard on a, uh, a flat screen. In real life, you've got an extra dimension that you're able to sense... Sadly not in farming sim. Um, 
I'm sure there must be a VR mod for this, thinking about it. I could play this in VR. I wonder what that would be like. Whether it would be harder or easier. It could go either way, couldn't it? There we go. Not bad. That is not bad. I will take that. Right. Uh, what is next then? We will park this beast over here. And then we will take a look at uh, what is to do. Right. Um, so this has obviously got to grow another couple of months. These we probably only wrapped this morning. Yeah, 9% fermented. Uh, and now we've got two harvested fields. Needs lime, needs rolling apparently. Uh, okay. What do you need? Need lime, need rolling. Okay, well we're not going to worry about that for now. I think all we're going to do is um, continue the cycle of being a field. So, let's uh, grab ourselves. I guess we're going to plant more wheat to be honest. Because there's nothing much else we can do. Um, yeah. I mean, we could put a poplar in, but then would we... I don't know how long poplar takes to grow. And also we'd need more... Um, uh, we'd need more stuff to do with that. We could put some oilseed radish in. But to be honest, that's putting money into it. I mean, I suppose it's not, because it's technically a... a um, fertilizer isn't it so it might, I don't know if it's cheaper than fertilizer it probably is probably is cheaper than fertilizer um, but yes for now we will at the very least um, put it what's the word um, k -k -k -k, this thing cultivate cultivate it let's um, let's do that I like that the the tractor door opens and closes when I get in that's quite fun. That's a nice little touch. Uh, so I'm going to turn, um, I'm going to put on the allow create fields with a cultivator because I got that mod uh, when I got, when at the same time as I got the uh, real mower mod. Because realistically this thing would, would dig up the ground. I mean it w I know it wouldn't plow it but you'd be able to make it into a, like a field of some sort. Um, so we are gonna lower you, yes there we go. And then we'll turn this whole part into one field. Okay, I actually missed. Uh, oh of course, because this is grass isn't it? But it's sown grass, that's right. So we have to be careful with this. Be careful with what we do. So actually I don't need to turn create field on at all. Except when I go over those little green bits in the middle because I want them to go. Um, but yes, we are actually doing okay with this. In theory, this should go straight over the middle without any issues. Yes it does. Fantastic. And then we're going to turn here and we're not going to plant that corner. Um, yeah we're going to leave that as is so that it's easier for us to... Um, oh, I should have turned there. So it's easier for us to access basically. Right. Here we go. Straight along here. There we are. Right. I think I missed a bit at the very top, so we'll we'll loop round and grab that. Uh, oh, too far. Go on, miss the tree, miss the tree. There we go, well done. You know what, this is alright, I don't mind. We can leave that extra bit. 
Anyway, let's do this as another uh, hyperlapse. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. And there we have it. Oh, let's lift this up. Cool, cool, right. Field is now ready, but we can't seed it until next month. Uh, so there's not really anything to do other than to wait till the next month. Uh, although, having said that, I will, I know I probably have already checked the uh, the chickens and the greenhouse in this game day but I will check now anyway just to be sure uh, so yes let's go have a quick look at those uh, chickens food 6,000 litres they're okay uh, and water is 1800 litres so it should be okay overnight I think um, but yeah, I don't know how long that food's going to last. How many chickens have we got now? We've got 120. So we're close to half capacity out of them. Hopefully we're going to start earning some real money off them soon. That is the plan. Um, but for now, we can uh, go and have a sleep and let the weeds grow in the field. Uh, yes, 8 o'clock please. Okay, it is a new day. We have a new slight growth of grass. How is this? Oh, it hasn't uh, it hasn't grown any weeds yet. That's good. Uh, apparently, there might be some weed in there somewhere. I don't know, but this is this is decent. Okay, this is decent. How is everything doing over here? You have thirteen hundred liters left, and you have uh, five thousand six hundred thirty-two. Okay, I think we're okay. Um, we may need a little top up of food over the winter um, but we will see we will see in fact we will do because they're going to keep um, multiplying aren't they cool right uh, in that case um, I think that's going to be it for today's episode um, yeah in the next one we will put the seed in and uh, what else well see how it goes to be honest but uh, there you go a little bit of uh, a little bit of progress, not a lot today, other than the new tractor, that's, that's a cool thing. I like this tractor, this is a, a smart tractor. Um, but yes, join me again next time and we'll continue working on the fields. Bye!